One foot stays on the board, one foot doesn't. So where does the remaining foot go? What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. I would like to be reviewing footage of you guys today, but in my list, I only have one submission. So let me take this time now to re-explain how you can submit footage of you and your friends to Ninja Review. Step one, find me online on Facebook or on Instagram. Type in Ninja Lifestyle. Send me a message. Make sure the message says, this is for Ninja Review spacebar then send a link to a youtube video make sure it's hd make sure it's 16 by 9 what does that mean that means no vertical footage no tic tac footage no snapchat footage no youtube short footage make sure it's widescreen like this no black bars on each side you'd be surprised how many people don't understand that. Anyways, I check those DMs usually on Mondays and Tuesdays, and I can't wait to review footage of you. But today, we don't have enough, so we will review a two-year-old part from Alec Spinosi. It's called No Future. This is on the Thunder Trucks YouTube page. It's a very short video. It seems to be like a welcome to the team kind of thing. And I'm curious now what happened to this guy because as I was going through this video looking for a thumbnail play, I noticed he's actually pretty good. Then again, it's easy to look good when the video is only you know, one minute and 20 seconds. First trick, giant heel flip down the double set. Filming on both sides, nice landing, nice filming, big front board. I think Nigel did like fakey cab board slide down that or cab lip slide. We get Nolly front heel over the uh, bike rack there, jumping across the gap, lip slide, filming looks great. Really get uh, like a zero style filming here. Everything's really zoomed in. We get the close fish eyes on the handrails. That's what I like to see. Gets goofy riding on the grass. Big front shove across the gap. We've got gaps, we've got stairs, we've got rails. Do we get a manual? I don't know. We get a cool little tap over on what may have been a skate stopped spot. We get the grind onto the bench. Uh, you know, a big danger mode there. Big backside flip. Any skids for the kids? Of course there's skids for the kids. Can we get a push twice at some point? Okay, we get the little manual combo with the big drop. Love to see it. Tray flip film nice with the fisheye. This big spin is insane, not just because the textured landing, but if you're gonna big spin, you gotta think about how often you're gonna fall. Usually when you fall on a back big spin like that, one foot stays on the board, one foot doesn't. So where does the remaining foot go? I don't know, that makes that trick extra dangerous in my opinion. Also the fisheye there made the, uh, the gap look bigger. Right on back tail flip, final trick, tail slide kick flip. As far as an introduction to the team video, this is how it's supposed to look. I wouldn't give this a 10 out of 10 for like a video part, but I would certainly give this a 10 out of 10 as far as now I know this guy's name, now I know what team he's on, am I hyped to see what happens to him in the next year? Yes, that's what I think these companies should be doing when they're promoting a new guy, which now leads to the question, what happened to this guy, where is Alex Spinozzi, where on earth is Carmen San Diego? I don't know. Maybe one of you guys could let me know in a comment below. Also, let me know in a comment who I should review next. I'm trying to review at least three professional video parts every single week. Where do I find out which videos to review? Right here in the comments. Every single Monday and Tuesday, I scroll down through each of my comments and highlight the comments that I think I might want to review, and I'm looking forward to doing that. Also, Ninja Review, I want to review non-pro skaters. That way I can be a little more mean. It's harder for me to be mean to an actual pro skater that A is better than me, has achieved more than me, and I can't really critique a filmer who works for Thrasher because they probably know what they're doing. Then again, sometimes they mess up too which makes it fun for us. The reason I do the Ninja Review for the non-pro skaters is to help you guys realize the mistakes that maybe you don't know you're making. All right, today's Saturday, short video. Go out there, enjoy the hopefully good weather, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Kuna Matata.